Hey there guys, welcome back to your Football Manager channel. I'm FM Pepe and this is the Celtic series where we're going to be giving Angel Gomez a start after he performed really well um, in the last game and by all accounts um, changed the game for us. So if you look at Hibs here when Angel Gomez came on, he got a goal, 8 out of 10. Uh, he's in good form. So we're going to play him against Leipzig today. Uh, it's the semi-final at home, uh, so we're going to play a 4-2-3-1, sorry a 4-3-1-2, that's it, a 4-3-1-2, get that in the end. A uh, bit of a fitness thing over McKenney. Um good condition, poor match sharpness. Um, but what I've done is from Florentino Luis through McKenney, Gramerez, Gomez, Edouard and Keane, if you add up the goals... There's 75 goals there in that six uh, players. Um, Keane is 21. Uh, Edouard is 16, so that's 37. And then Gomez is 14, that's 51. And then McKenney is 10, 61. Um, Bruno Gomez is 6, that's 67. And then Florentino Luis is 8, so that's 75. 75 goals between those six players and... We've still got Jordan Larson on the bench, Jared Bowen on the bench, and David Neres on the bench. And they've got 35 goals between the three of them. So, we're not going to be short on goals. So, I'm going to be a bit confident about us today. As we go to this match preview and play a funny looking shirt like that. Um, and I think we should go out and be quite strong and hopefully win the game. So... I'm just, just had a little rejig. I think I'm going to go with a diamond in midfield um, because they're going to be playing a 5 2 1 2 formation. So we need someone to pick up Danny Olmo. And players look really motivated. It's good. And I want to play Angel Gomez behind Keane and Edward. So I think we're going to play McKenney and Grimera's in midfield together. Uh, Louise can be um, the... Let's go attacking as well. And I'm pretty sure through the middle. There we go. Um, should we drop deeper? I think not ordinarily we're pressing high, aren't we? Um, out of possession. So they got Timo Werner, haven't they? So let's spread the play a little bit. And then let's go very direct. Um, attacking with narrow. All right. So the boys get creative. Both teams inspired by feedback. Okay. Louise picks up a yellow card. Edward and Keane look as though they're causing problems up front. Not that you'd know it because we're not at a highlight yet. Come on, football manager. Give us a highlight. Here we go. Edward controls it. Grimerez crosses to nobody. McKenny. Keane! Get in! Oh, have it! Have it, you... Oh, I can't swear. It's a channel I can't swear. Um, have it, you rather unpleasant folk we are playing against. Oh, what a finish. I tell you what's the first highlight, but what a highlight! Ho ho ho! Oh, there's more ho ho hoes than Santa Claus! Oh, dear me, that was a good finish. That was a really good finish. Well, that's the only highlight of the first half. I think we can take it. Um, <laughs> wow, fairly even as well. Um, we are evenly matched. Monk says, tell the team not expected to prove a point today. Okay. 
Okay, Mr. Monkey. Good talk. <laughs> Let's win. <laughs> Florentino Luis, 6.6. .6. Bruno Grimari, 6.5. Mm. McKenny 6.9 Maybe we need two defensive midfield players Here's Gomez to Keane McKenny is there Plays it onto O'Donnell Right wing back Oh! Oh! Oh Stephen O'Donnell you dirty Oh you are filth Stephen O'Donnell Have a word young man you filthy, filthy. Oh. <laughs> wow. Went right through Galachi. Oh, my word. 2 0. Oh. Oh, I say. <laughs> oh. Oh, matron. Oh, young. Young man. Oh, young man. Stephen O'Donnell, young man. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, what the hell. Wow. That just happened. Right. Angel Gomez still got a sits there. I'm thinking of possibly taking off one of the midfield players and bringing David Neres in. Putting Gomez out on the left because Gomez isn't playing that great. Maybe it's going to be Gomez because he's shorter of fitness. Out the lot of them. He's got a seven. That's the problem. Louise has got booked. So. They're trying to play with more caution. What if we take Louise off. We bring David Neres on. And then. Um, we'll let a sub happen. There we go. We've got 15 minutes left to play. We can put Neres on the right Gomez on the left um, we'll have Gomez as an inverted winger that supports that's what I think he wants to do yeah. and Neres wants to be an inverted winger that supports as well so we'll have him there and then we've got Bruno Gomez and McKenney that I think technically could possibly drop back here and we could just hit them on the break. Um, ball with a midfielder defend. And be a um, I think Segundo Valante probably is probably McKenny's thing, Segundo Valante. But I think if we have them both as ball winning midfielders and just have them defend, um, or have one as an anchor man, Bruno Gamares, and then we just hit them on the counter. Okay, let, let's be sensible. 2 0 in the first leg is good. Is Finley. Oh, Adams plays it forward. Finley gives it to Gomez. Oh, Keane is tackled. Oh, I don't like this. Maybe we bring a mid a midfielder on for a striker. Oh, it's over the bar. God What to do We've got Bruno Gamarez who is not looking That fit to be honest He's not looking healthy uh, I think he'll see the game out There's just 10 minutes left But Edouard hasn't done very much um, And I'm thinking if we have McKenna come on then we can have McKenna where Aya is Aya where 
uh, McKenney is and play McKenney in a midfield role. That makes sense to me. Right. Um, so, McKenna, central defender, defend. Christopher Ayer, deep line playmaker, support, okay. Bruno Gamares, um, should be a ball winning midfielder who defends. Actually, you could be a ball winning midfielder who defends as well. McKenney can come sit in front of them. Keane can go there. Right, so that will help. We've still got an outlet. Um, we can slow the pace down. And we can time waste. And be more disciplined. Okay. It's Gomez. Yes! Stuart Finlay! Oh, you beautiful ginger. Oh, my word. 3-0. Oh, game management, people. Game management. Let's let's be balanced. Let's be calm. Let's be, you know, organised and rational. And holy fudge, 3-0. Oh, my God. Right. Demand more from them. Because if you tell them to tighten up, they're just going to, you know, lose confidence or whatever. Oh my word. Keep 3 0. Don't let them score now. Crying out loud. We've got one minute to go. Do not let them get an away goal. Oh, McKenny with a good tackle. Christopher Ayer facing him up. Gomez is there as an out ball. Here's Taylor. There's O'Donnell. Oh, Gomez. McKenna plays it forward. Keane heads it on to David Neres. I don't mind if you shoot, lad. Oh, Galachi tips it over. Oh, my word. One more would do. Oh, please. It's David Neres. Must be. Oh, oh, Moise Keane. I thought he was coming in then. I thought, that's it. Oh. Oh, jeez, I thought I was 4 0. Oh, Moise Keen. Oh, get in. Oh, my word. Timo Werner had a shocker. 6.4. Woo. Oh, my God. And Andre Onana has ensured the goalkeeper has now played 330 consecutive minutes for Celtic without conceding. Wow. Uh, Moise Keen's ended his goal drought. Excellent. Oh, Monkey, those boys were excellent, man. You tell them. Mr. Monkey. <sighs> oh, that got the heart pounding. 3 0, people. 3 0. Neil Gossman <laughs> angry at losing to Pepe. Uh, FM Pepe will certainly be thinking he got the better of you in the match and the build up to it. Do you think it's fair to say you cracked under the pressure a bit? Nagelsmann said, I wasn't at all impressed with how FM conducted himself before the match. I wish he could just let football do the talking instead of having to resort to all these mind games. I'm living rent free in your head, bitch. The fact that we lost just makes it all the harder to take. Nagelsmann, you is a bitch. You is a bitch, bro. Living in your brain. Completely free. Praise Keane's performance. Moise Keane, you're a star, man. Claude Piel was watching Edouard Pumaceno Canate for the French squad. Okay, fair enough. Keane had gone 11 hours competitive football without a goal. Wow. He had scored in a few cup games for sure. Um... Wow, so we got Rangers next. Oh my god. Julian Nagelsmith seems to have very little interest in ending this recent spat with you. How do you feel about his latest comments? Um, let's see. It's a shame to see a fellow professional acting this way, frankly. 
He needs to stop mouthing off in the press and start worrying about his team. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Uh, <laughs> let's just needle him some more. Oh my word. Rangers next. Oh, we've got a massive lead in the league. Um, <laughs> Pepe tells Nagelsmann to keep his mouth shut. <laughs> ah. Oh my word. Right, let's um, go to tactics. And I I think I want to do like a a kind of 4-2-3-1 against um, Rangers. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I told Jack O'Connor I'd do three at the back. Right, um... Well, let's do a 3-4-3 against Rangers instead then, maybe. Um, yeah, I think we, we probably should try a 3-4-3. Um, yeah, let's just mark them all as red. Um, hand over to the assistant manager. Um... Crap, we've just done a tactical briefing on a 4-2-3-1, haven't we? Oh, well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oops. Uh, let's see. Let's play some wing backs. And... Let's play the formation Leipzig just played, actually. Uh, let's play this 5... Uh, at the back with three midfield and two in attack. Uh, Semper's injured. When did he become injured? What's up with him? Okay. Clear the entire team selection. Um, pick without restriction the best 11. Semper is injured so he can't play there. My left midfielder is not there. Left striker, sorry. My. Let's see. My left wing back is not there because Juan Miranda is not there. Okay. So two, three, four, five, six. All right, so Taylor's going to have to come in left wing back. Striker. We're going to bring in Moise Keane. Um, bring on Scott Bain to the bench. Um, Leo Connor to cover defensive positions. Uh, with Stuart Finlay. We got McKenney and Camavinga on the bench there as well. Uh, sub four, who's that? Um, let's see, where's David Neres? Neres is on the bench. Larson. Gomez. Hmm. Well, Gomez is 89%. Camavinga is 98%. So we're going to give Gomez a game off, I think. And we'll put Gomez and Larson on the bench. Let's see. So that gives us O'Donnell and Taylor as wing backs. Okay. Alright. Um Camavinga and Florentino Luis in midfield. Aya, Julian and McKenna at the back with Onano in goal. Uh and I Hatteran in midfield with Edvar and Keane there as well. Alright, that's that's what the game thinks my best uh, team in this shape is that we can play with uh, regards to injuries, etc. So, let's get to the game. Uh, and just before we get to the game, a quick little look. Adrian Semper's bruised his thigh for three to five days. Um, 
Juan Miranda's out for five days to two weeks because of a hamstring strain. Sandro Tonali's got a torn calf. That's six weeks to two months. Uh, and then there's a few under-23 players. Matt Bride, Connell, Ferg Ferguson, Williams, who are out for four weeks, four months and three weeks. So the injury list is building. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I clicked on an advertisement board. Oh, I thought the game had crashed. Holy Jesus Christ on a bike. I was flipping out right there. Oh. Good go bad Ward. Do you know what? That is such a cock up. I'm not even going to edit it out. <laughs> I might do actually. <laughs> oh dear. Camavinga finds Keen. This could be three. Oh cry with the save all right let's make some subs now <laughs> oh wow taylor and o'donnell right let's um bring on uh gomez for taylor and neres for o'donnell and we can have him attacking a little bit can't we um I know they don't want to be wing backs, but it's just a bit tough. And let's play. Oh, who's not playing well? Is Louise or Julian? Hmm. I was going to take Edward off before he got booked, um, and maybe bring on McKenny. Um, hang on, what's, what's happened there? Undo that, right. Yeah, bring on McKenny. Okay, and then tactically, we've got Florentino Luis can come back there. We've then got Gomez. And Neres on the wings. And we've got Keen up front on his own. But we've got McKenny, Camavinga and Florentino Louise in midfield. Oof, good tackle. Whoever that was, was it Neres? Oh, there's, there goes my phone. Here's McKenny. Oh, Rebo. What a tackle. Joe Rebo, former Charlton Athletic player. Oh, good header. Rebo looking for a cross for Dowell. Oh, Nana. Oh, wow. Wow, get some of that. Andre Nana. He palmed it away and then kicked it. It's Tavernier coming forward. Julian hasn't got the paces. Old Brighton. Andre and Nana 1-1 one one makes a save. This is why we pay 30 odd million for that keeper. Come on lads. Oh, saved it from Dowell as well. Oh, get in. Oh, Wow. So the back three are having a good game. Camavinga's got a 9 out of 10. He's playing really well in that midfield. Now he's got McKenney there with him. And Louise behind him. He should be better. Um, that should give us somewhat of an extra presence in midfield. Here's Florentino Louise striding away from midfield. Send Keane through now. Oh, let's give it to Gomez. He's gone round his man really well. Oh, I gone round another one really well. Oh my word, brought a save from the keeper McCrory. He went ghosted round to Vernier there. Now he puts it in, Camavinga can't get it. Oh, McKenny flashes it wide. Oof. Alright, let's be balanced. And uh, let's praise the lads. There we go, we haven't praised them in a little while. 2-0 against Rangers. Oh my god. 
David Neres tries to clear it. Oh, Brighton. Oh, oh crap. Old Brighton, it's a worldie. And, uh, yeah. Really wish he hadn't. Be more disciplined. Okay. Oh, man. There is this clearance as far as McCrory and Old Brighton hit it first time. Anana did well to get a hand to it, really. Full time, 2 1. Well, <laughs> bit of management there, but I think we'll we'll have to uh, put Jack O'Connor on the coaching team or the, the scouting list at the moment. Let's, uh, boys, very happy with you. McKenna looks switched off. He's probably thinking about going to the pub, getting drunk, having a good night, celebrating beating Rangers. Well, the players don't react to beating Rangers anymore. They're just so blasé about it. So we've played 36, won 32, drawn 4, plus 91 goal difference, 100 points. 28 points clear of Rangers. We are taking the piss out of this league, well and truly. And uh, 9 out of 10 and 2 assists for Eduardo Camavinga. Oh, man. I mean, I think we're going to have to find him two weeks wage, really. Um, because that was blatant. Classy Camavinga. Love it. Um, there we go. He's in superb morale right now. Claude Peel looking at Camavinga and Edouard. And if Camavinga doesn't get a call up, there's something wrong. Because uh, that was a hell of a performance. Stevie Woods, goalkeeping coach. Just signed a new contract. Um, I think your nickname now is Jack O'Connor. Is it Connor with an O or an E? Bloody hell. <laughs> Hang on. I get this wrong. Oh. Right. YouTube Studio on my phone. Um, go to comments for you more. There's the lovely Brian Keady. There's Demand More FM, Mr. Monkey. And it's Jack O'Connor with an O. There we go. Don't want to get your name wrong, pal. There is a Jack O'Connor that used to play for Rochdale and now plays centre half for Sheffield United. I was getting him confused before. And 51. I don't think you're 51, Jack. I I'm not sure, but. Now, I'm not I'm not going to give you 20s across the board here, Jack, because that's, you know, cheating. We don't do that. But I'm going to make you, let's take it down to 1992. There we go. I'm going to make you 29-year-old Jack. I hope that's all right, mate. Um, 29's a good age. It's a good age to be a goalkeeping coach. And Mr. Monkey's pleased for the supporters. It's only really the fans and you lot in the media that pay attention to these things, but I'm glad we've been able to send the supporters home happy. Well done, lad. I had to run accepted his fine, by the way. Two weeks' wages, so he, he knew he'd botched up. Oh, my word. Um, let's see. Leipzig away next time. So, because we're playing away from home against Leipzig in the next game what I think we'll do is I think the smart move is um, probably to play a 4-3-3 with a DM so our okay it's a few players qualified for homegrown status good that'll help uh, our data analysis facility has been upgraded good I think if we play um, four at the back with a defensive mid, two centre mids, uh, Neres and Gomez out wide, and then maybe Edouard up front. Um, I'll show you. So we, we do this. 
and oh come on there we go et voila if we we play this formation um and we stay positive i think and we focus play through the middle shorter passes and we're more disciplined and we distribute it we'll go to the target man uh, out of possession blah, blah, blah. actually he's playing with three up front there isn't he so if we distribute to a playmaker his chance of beating three men in the air is not going to be good um, there we go so they want to so Mr Monkey has picked uh, let's see on Nana in goal Ralston, Ayer, Julian and Finley across the back uh, Finley at left back okay Florentino Luis, uh, Bruno Gomez and McKenny in midfield that I can go with Eduard up front and there is on the right I can go with I'd go with Ayer at the back I would probably play Finley where Julian is unless Greg Taylor's not Greg Taylor's 80% so we'll see where we are in two days anyway. Um, uh, let's see, we'll give the players a bit of rest training calendar. Where are we? Rangers, Leipzig. I forget defending training. Physical rest. Just give them a day of rest. There we go. So what we'll do is we'll come back in the next video on Monday and we'll play the second leg against Leipzig. And we'll see who's um, who's fit, who's available, and we might just uh, take you through a selection process. Right, well, I'm glad we've got that out of the way. 3-0 against uh, Leipzig in a semi-final of the uh, Champions League. First leg, though. Um, beat Rangers 2-1 in the league. It's always good to do. So we've just got to play Leipzig. And then we've got two league games against Hearts and Aberdeen. And we've got Aberdeen in the Scottish Cup final. If we win that Scottish Cup final, that's the domestic treble. And if we win the Champions League, the quadruple, frankly, I want a statue outside Celtic Park. I'm just floating it out there. I'm just floating it out there. You know, just, just, just the idea of a statue of Pepe outside Celtic Park. It would look good. That's all I'm going to say. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Make sure you drop a like on the video. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself. See you Monday.